Hello everyone! 안녕하세요 여러분! Welcome back to my channel. So, how do you know when you are fluent in another language? Well, today I'm going to talk about 10 situations that you can figure out you are fluent in Korean language. But, before we get started, I'd like to introduce a remarkable language learning website called italki. If you want to measure your fluency, you have to check if native speakers can really understand you, right? In this respect, italki would be the best option because it has a lot of professional teachers who can speak Korean. So not only can you take one-on-one -on lessons with a teacher, but also you can learn the real Korean that native speakers use all the time. So I'm sure this italki is the fastest and effective way to become fluent. Also, they've given me a discount to give to you guys, so click on the link in the description box of this video, sign up for your first lesson, and then italki will give you $10 of italki credit to spend on your next lesson. So this is very amazing, right? If you are interested in, please check it out. Well, then let's get started with the lesson. So when you study a foreign language by yourself, you might feel frustrated because no matter how hard you study, you will be confused about your fluency at some point, right? I mean, you are not sure if you are really fluent or not. But from now on, I'm going to talk about 10 indicators of fluency. And if these have happened to you, that means you are on your way to becoming fluent. Also, I would love you to comment down below with how many of these situations have happened to you and which ones. All right, so what is the first situation? If you don't realize you are talking in another language, it means you are fluent. So when you are in conversation, when you watch YouTube videos or movies, or when you listen to radio in Korean language, and if you're understanding it right away without focusing, then congratulations, you are fluent in Korean language. Well, I would consider myself to be fluent in English, and sometimes I find myself doing this, especially when I hang out with my friends. So every time we talk in English, I will listen to them, and then about a minute later, uh, I will realize, oh my gosh, I'm listening in another language. And then I didn't even realize it. So it feels really, really good. So if that happens to you next time, you should feel really, really good about yourself. Have you ever experienced that a word you want to say comes to your mind in Korean language first? Or have you ever forgotten a certain word in your native language? Or have you ever thought that it's much easier to say a particular phrase in Korean language rather than in your native language? If one of these have happened to you, I'm sure that you are very fluent in Korean language. So I have a friend, Stephanie, who is really good at Korean, and she said that wow, 대박이다 always comes to her mind first rather than it's elite. So she just says the phrase right away without even hesitating, and she even told me that it's kind of comfortable to tell the time or dates in Korean language. So yes, I can say she's really good at Korean. And also I've experienced this quite a lot. Um, I mean, I've been learning English so far, right? And I've experienced that um, some proverbs come to my mind in English first. So for example, it's easier for me to say it's a piece of cake rather than saying 누워서 떡 먹기네? So I've, I've experienced this quite a lot. So this is one of the indicators that you can check your fluency. So if this happened to you, you are very good at Korean. You know you are fluent when people don't adapt to your language level. So if people don't change the way they speak when they talk to you, or if they don't slow down or simplify their vocabulary to talk to you, you can know you are good at Korean. I mean, they just go with the flow and use their na normal native uh, vocabulary, including slang and expressions, right? They just talk to you in normal native speed. So this is more about sounding like you are fluent. If people think that you are completely fluent, they will start speaking in a really relaxed way and expect you to understand. And if you really do understand everything they are saying, you can start to feel really good about yourself. You are aware of the mistakes that you make. So you might correct your mistakes right away when you are in conversation or you might say, 
ah, I should have said like this at that time by regretting making mistakes in the past conversation, right? Well, nobody speaks a language with perfect grammar and doing so cannot be considered a, a mark of fluency. However, if you often catch yourself making mistakes and correcting uh, yourself, it can mean that you are fluent. It means that you know what you did wrong and you are on that path to fluency. So if you realize you are making mistakes, you are one step away from just not making them at all. You are so confident in your language skills that you will never hesitate to go to the hairdresser in Korea. I mean, you can do all the things in that language that a native person would be able to do without even thinking about it. Like going to the doctors, going to the hairdresser, um, going to the bank, ordering stuff in a bar or cafe, giving directions and so on. And if you can do these things in Korean, you know you are well on your way to fluency. You know you are fluent when you no longer find opportunities to practice. Well, it definitely happened to me with English. I'm not actively looking for opportunity anymore in which I can practice my English. I remember being desperate to practice my English at any opportunity. Uh, I was very desperate to meet English speakers because at the time I was studying it by myself here in Korea. So I just really wanted to talk in English. And now I'm really happy if I meet someone in English because I can have a chat in English very confidently. I mean, we can always learn more, of course, but if your priorities change, that means you are already fluent in a language. I know this is cliche, but if you can watch films without subtitles, it means that you are fluent. If you can understand almost everything during the live streaming or V app of your favorite idols, it also means that you are very good at Korean. It's fantastic, right? Has this ever happened to you? Let me know in the comment, please. In Korea, people sometimes convey their opinions indirectly. Uh, they are very vague, so you need to figure out what that implied meaning is. I think this is a very different thing compared to the English culture. So, uh, for example, instead of saying 창문 좀 열어주실래요? Koreans might ask 여기 좀 덥지 않아요? Or rather than asking 소금 좀 건네주실래요? We might ask, uh, 여기 음식 좀 짜지 않아요? So this doesn't happen all the time, but still lots of Korean ask the other person's opinion by expecting a certain answer from him or her rather than express their thoughts directly. So this indirect and vague expression can be used only if you truly understand the Korean culture, right? Even if you don't live in Korea, you can find these cultural differences from Korean movies or dramas. And if you can understand and freely use these indirect expressions, Congratulations, I have nothing to teach you. You can understand and participate in humor. You can watch stand-up comedy show in Korean language and you don't have to pretend to get the jokes. And if you don't understand something, you are not ashamed of asking why it's funny because it's probably some cultural difference you are not familiar with. Uh, you just didn't catch it or it simply wasn't funny. Well, I'm still struggling with this problem because some comedians speak really, really quickly. So I rarely understand why people laugh so if you can see through the comedy show and laugh at all the jokes, ha 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 I can tell you mastered Korean language. <laughs> you can also say that you are fluent when you count numbers easily in a foreign language. So when I went on a trip, it happened to me. Uh, when a clerk told me the price or when a staff told me the date and time of entry at a ticket office, I understood it right away without even translating it in my head. And I took the next section very naturally, just like native speakers. So I, at the time I thought, oh my gosh, my English has improved a lot. Also, I've ever taken a class with foreign exchange students in my university 
and I had to explain them about the exam in English. So I told them really, really quickly about the date of the exam and uh, the number of letters to fill in the essay. And after telling them everything, I realized that I used only English. So this is also a very good indicator that you can check your fluency. All right, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to comment down below with which of these situations have happened to you. And if you can add more to the list, that would be fantastic. <laughs> also, I've got my Facebook, I've got my Instagram, and I've got my Twitter, so you can connect with me on all of my social media. Then I'll see you soon for another lesson. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Ding 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 ding. 그러면 다음 시간에 만나요. 안녕. Comment down below with which of these situations have happened to you and which ones. No. And she even told me that is 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 you are very good at Korean. <coughs> this so this indirect so this indirect is so this. You can also say that you are fluent when you count numbers easily in a foreign language. <laughs>